live here from the Verda Complex. Just a stone's throw away from the vibrant city centre. 149 athletes from around the world have descended upon Montenegro's capital, all battling out for their share of $30,000 in prize money, with ranking points, of course, up for grabs too. This competition consists of five categories, women's singles, men's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles, with the competition taking place over a compact four days. Yesterday was semi-finals and bronze matches, but today it's all about the finals. Who will be crowned Montenegro's champions? There are your matches up on your screen there. The conclusion of the Podcruise Gazette Board Tour coming up next. Before we get underway, a quick mention to our sponsors who've offered their support to this event, Daffy News, Tech m &E, Ministry of Sports and Youth, National Tourism and Inter Sport. So the beautiful city of Podgorica is the next chapter in this ever-growing tech ball tour. We've already been to Madrid and Dubai this year, and we start our coverage today with the women's singles finals. Anna Jacques taking on Carolyn Greco, myself, James Anadakis, and Tim White describing you the action of this first match. A warm welcome to everybody. Tim, over to you for commentary of this first match. Thanks very much, James. Tremendous atmosphere inside here. A lot of school children have come along to watch. Techers of the future. And let's say hello to our referee for the first final. Imre is uh, the man in charge. There are two referees, but he's the main focal point. The other one confirms the decisions nearest the camera, and he will also uh, make sure that any replays need to be called. There are challenges available. So here come the competitors for the women's singles. First up today, Anna Izak, world number one. The top two seeds making the final here in this showpiece first event in Podgorica. The Hungarian will take on Karol Greco of the United States. She'll be 30 in two weeks, but is evergreen. Don't call her a veteran. A former professional footballer in Switzerland and in Los Angeles hoping to win another title to add to her world championship crown of 2022 just a few months ago when we saw her win that uh, title in Nuremberg and the women's uh, the standard in the women's singles is really improving event by event James it certainly is Tim and uh, it's good to see Carol Greco back in uh, European soil obviously competing uh, heavily in the United States a gold medalist in Los Angeles twice already this year she is the world champion in the women's singles of course this is a repeat of the world championships final which Greco won in straight sets these two know each other well and as blue descends upon the arena, quickly the lights come up and we look forward to what really promises to be a very exciting women's singles final. Yeah, it does indeed. So a few seconds of warm-up and then we will be into the event proper and uh, both players acknowledging the crowd here. Anna Izak uh, has risen to number one almost by stealth at times, but uh, a collection of impressive and consistent performances from Ishak. a little bit of a defensive player maybe a bit more flair about Greco you can see warming up now the American and uh, 29 years of age set up her own tech ball club actually Bella Tech purely for women in California and is an environmentalist uh, working with Sonoma County just a little north of San Francisco and the Bay Area so the warm-up almost complete here. The first of the five finals, there is an exhibition gala match as well with some local celebrities taking part. We'll guide you through all the action right here from Podgorica, the capital of Montenegro. More, some fantastic sights. And we're here in the Verdi complex, just a little west of the city centre, about six kilometres, four and a half miles or so away. Yeah, fantastic uh, noise coming from the crowd here. They really are excited. A lot of local schools have been invited down. Greco already acknowledging the noise being made by this crowd. She is a big occasion player and will get this match underway with the first serve. Yeah, I was a little disappointed talking to her earlier. They couldn't make the final of the mixed doubles with her partner, Frankie, who's in a corner watching and see on the bottom right of your screen. And it is the American oh. who takes the first point oh, after this day for Anna Ishak. <laughs> crowd absolutely loving that. And Greco will feed off that atmosphere being created loud stuff here which we like to see Greco a point to the good early on yeah you wonder if there's a so psycho sorry. psychological advantage to either of these players both in decent forms in the singles you can see the spin that Greco gets 
with the toss. Did she get that back before it went over the halfway point? Yes, she did, says the referee. No challenge. Now Greco from distance does really well. Super play after it looked like she might be losing control. I thought she'd go for the power header, then the sniper didn't bother. Now Greco will just put it low, and that's pretty good play as well from Ijak to keep it alive. Oh. One touch from both of them, and Ijak gets the point as hers touches the end of the table, and the American just couldn't react in time. We don't see that too often in uh, Tech Ball, do we? Four touches, just single touches over the net. Oh, that was brilliant. Really, really going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. both these athletes, number one and two in the world. You can see why they are the best in the women's singles game. And, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an epic battle you feel had that clipped the edge by the way you just saw the replay it yeah. would have been a point replay i know that a lot of you already know this but we've got a lot of new viewers today i think joining us at least quite a few from montenegro as well it's been shown live in the country the crowd chanting usa, USA in the background USA. <laughs> they've picked well, their favorite early on they have they? haven't they but uh, there's probably some politics behind that as well i think Montenegro, a fairly new independent nation after the demise of Yugoslavia, as what Greco setting herself up and gets a little stab Whoa. forward again. Ishak somehow gets it back, a chance of another attacking move. Had to use a different part of the body, so went with the head. But Ishak this time oh. ran out of options and Point into the net. Really and well, the American takes the point again. Well, both athletes really being made to work for every point here. Two absolutely epic rallies in just the first three points of the match. Both players are looking up for this. The crowd are loud. This is a brilliant atmosphere. <laughs> well, Carolyn Greco just can't have imagined that this would be the response. It's like, a home, it's like a home time. Service. But even there, they're mostly Americans competing. So it's just almost a uh, unique situation. The Montenegrin crowd behind the American. The only American we'll see today in the finals. Greco going again with the head. Ijak teeing it up for a big finish over halfway, though. Oh. She wasn't allowed to touch it. And through the cheers of the very young Change crowd, I have to say, Play shows you that serve. Greco has taken another point and leads 3-1. The California girl is looking good Perfect. in the early stages here against the current uh, winner from the last tournament with Madrid. <laughs> And the former 2021 world champion as well against the 2022 champion. Ishak the Hungarian, again, just didn't quite control enough. Was that over halfway line? Could review at the end of the point oh, if brilliant. the American doesn't win it, but she no. might not need to. What great return that is. Oh. Just misses the table. Oh. Extraordinary oh. defence from Ishak, but she's under pressure here. And the atmosphere is benefiting Greco, it would seem, at the moment. Yeah, Greco's putting her stamp down in the early stages here. Very, very close to crossing her line in the middle of the table you know sometimes a crowd can Third jump service. onto a chant and it can echo throughout the whole day we'll see what happens with this but that serve from his jack is pinpoint accuracy his jack moving in again towards the halfway line and smashes Point. the Day winner one. montenegro used to be part of uh, yugoslavia as we said and uh, this city we're in used to be called tito grad after the dictator ruler here but Eventually, after a short spell as Serbia and Montenegro gained their outright independence, and I think quite a few here thank the USA for supporting that claim, which is why Americans do tend to be popular around here. Ijak serving at 2 4 down, didn't make contact with the table. She'll get a second serve. Second service. A double fault is known as a captain's fault, but it'll be more conservative, a high looping, maybe off the second knee service. from the Hungarian. There you see it, a little bit more awkward, but Greco trying to get some momentum forward, but misses oh. the touch to Point her to obvious frustration. Wide. And the Hungarians in the corner are happier with that point. Third service. Arrears reduced to 3-4. One more serve in this set of four to come for Izak. 25-year-old from the Pushkash Academy. Second service. Nets with her first attempt, and so back she retreats. Last time, Greco... A little too far forward, a little bit too aggressive perhaps, but she gets Point. it with a sniper-style header. Not full-out aggression, but the low trajectory in the bounce made it awkward for Ishak, and at the change of serve, the American leads 5-3. Yeah, Greco needed to end that little run of momentum of being built by Ishak there. And I know that she is thriving of this atmosphere. First Very honest play, you saw her applauding Ishak's winner a few moments ago. Yeah, spent nah. quite a bit of time with... Her and Frankie travelling with a mixed Second doubles service. partner, a coach in the corner this week. Indeed, had a chat over breakfast this morning. 
And Greco knees it up and goes for the left footed stab towards her opponent's half there. Ishak gets it back with a knee. Greco has to use another part of the body, goes for the sniper header. Good defending, sets it up well herself. Uses the knee, but that's oh, miscontrolled. Ishak frustrated of coach two, and it's now a three point lead for Caroline Greco, the number two seed. First service. There is so Frankie. Greco with a chance now to build a little bit of a no. advantage here. <laughs> First serve smashed into the net. She apologises the ball ricochets off the camera. Yeah, expensive equipment. It wasn't on air at the time, so he might not have got the full oh, force like of that. Second serve. Replay, that. Yeah. Greco goes to the second serve. The conservative nature that she uses is with the head. Again, I think Ishak might have oh, lost brilliant. control of that. There's no uh, signal. Will she challenge? If it's over halfway, she would lose the point, Ishak. But Greco decides not to challenge. We're not actually aligned here, so I'd have to see the replay and see if... No, that doesn't tell us much either, does it? Yeah, Jacques's Third playing service. really well out wide, getting herself in that position and allowing us to smash. 6-4, good serve, serve, low, difficult to deal with. Awkward position here, brilliant return from Ishak, but lining up front of the sniper, head of trying to win the point. Ishak has other ideas. Little ding, Harvester bounces point. twice Very on wide. the table, and she reaps the rewards like a combine harvester, cutting the crops low and taking home the bounty. She gets the point. So we're at a pivotal point of this match now. And Jack could level the tie, claim back serves serve. and put real pressure on Greco. Greco needs this one. Best of three sets, first to 12 in the set, unless it gets to 11 all in the decider. Oh, lovely play, a little oh, fortunate anyway. because it came off the top of the net and just killed it. Greco, I'm not sure she'd have got there anyway, to be honest. Let's have another look, but that certainly made sure there was Team no hope service. for the American. And so from 4 1 like down. We change serves and it's 6 6. First service. Chance now for uh, Izyak, who's done really well to get herself back into this. You can see three consecutive Ow. points on the Greco serve as well. And a record number of female athletes in this Second event for service. a European Tour event 49. And here are the two survivors of the women's singles. Greco with momentum, heads it but easily controlled. Good positioning by the Hungarian. Again, not sure, it's very close to halfway when she made contact with the ball. Off the chest, clever, sets herself up next time for maybe using the foot if she can stop this attack. Repels it well, has to settle for a header from deep because she's too far away for the smash. Now the smash from the Hungarian. Brilliant first header. Oh, goodness me, surely not from there. She'll try, she'll succeed. Magnificent from Greco. Ishak still with the advantage, goes for the sniper. Greco back in the rally here. Short header herself. Couple of touches there maybe, is that four touches? Nothing from the referee, uh, and Greco can't get the ball wide. back after the single touch. What a rally, and it takes two to rally well, and Greco certainly played a part there, and Ishak may be a little fortunate with the double touch. Greco doing so well to absorb the power of that smash. She seems to have identified that as a problem area. Ishak loving the right-hand side of that table, getting herself in that position and setting herself up for the smash, and Greco counted it well, but still, oh. Ishak won the point. This is absolutely... Second service. As tight as you can get in this opening set. Six out of the last eight points have gone to the Hungarian. Conservative bouncing high serve again. That's a good smash, but Ishak's got to the chance to return it and does do so. Now a sniper header. That's difficult, and it's too difficult. Yes, point really. to the American. We're level again. It's 7 7. We're going the distance in the opening set of the opening final on this European Tech Ball Tour event in Podgorica. Yeah, Greco, you feel using that crowd to her advantage, celebrates with the crowd, the adrenaline Perfect. will be flowing. She needs it at this point, because we still have a couple more Izyak serves. Oh. That one goes long, so it's going to be a second serve for Izyak. Greco will be grateful of that, the Izyak serve is so aggressive. $500 difference between the winner of the singles and runner-up. 1,200 an offer for the winner. Greco sets herself up for the acute angle, it's a good oh, winner. Really Not quite good. cover from Izyak. Super smash from the California girl. And Caroline Greco is back in front again after a little spell, struggling to assert her authority, taking the advantage here with two, out, two points First out of service. three on the Ishak serve. Last one for her of these four. A lovely spinning serve. Did really well to even give herself a chance to continue in the rally, Greco. Chests it back. Now a chance with a... Oh, she's oh, missed the oh. smash. Spinning a bit too much. And how costly will that mistake be? Well, At the change, it's two-point gap for Greco. I think it was a slight change in heart there. She thought about the smash, then decided to go for the harvester. Caught in two minds, just ends up 
making the mistake, and that could be crucial. Good serve. Headed defence back. Greco still on the prowl here. Goes for another smash. It's difficult. It's back in play. Quick return because she felt her opponent was out of position. Oh, and Ishak indeed couldn't continue the rally. And suddenly looking like we were going the distance. There's a three-point gap here in favour of Caroline Greco, the world champion from Nuremberg just a few months ago. Real character this from Greco, who at six all was about to face four of Jacques serves, having just lost three of her own. And look at that, First four in a row for Greco. Will momentum switch again? Ishak needs something special here. Yes, seven six down. She needs to whitewash her opponent. Gets the smashing just before halfway. Oh, no. oh this is crazy! Oh. Just too much momentum. Good effort, but a vital point to keep the Hungarian in it. Would have been what five set points, four set points, had she missed that one. But now. Just two points between. That was close to halfway again, wasn't it? Very brave, getting her foot up above First the advertising 30. board there. She did the hard part right, but then put so much into just getting the ball into a position to be able to return it. Great serve, low and spinning Ishak with great defence. All oh, gets a lucky net as well, but Greco's still there. Little short harvest ahead. Ishak just about stays the right side of halfway again. Greco goes for the smash, it's good. Forces Ishak deep, one, two touches. Third with the knee, it's off the Ed side, ball. is it? Oh, it's edge. She gets a repeat of the rally. If it's deemed off the side, then she loses the point. Greco celebrating that point because she knew she was in a difficult position there. Jack out wide has been so dangerous from that position. First service. So still 10 8. Greco with that spinning serve, so difficult, did so well again. Ishak to control it. When she gets it right, it's nearly unplayable, but not quite. Ishak trying to build her own attack here, and that's surely over halfway line, it is. So a point to Greco that gives her three set points here. Ishak has been set daring herself to cross that invisible First line. But oh. in the end, it's now set point. Fucked oh. up. Four set points because if we get to 11 all, it's just a straight shootout in the first or second set. But the first serve didn't go to plan, to the relief of Ishak, no doubt. Second service. Caroline Greco, current world champion against the previous world champion, Ijak, who smashes Ooh. good, wins the point, stays alive, that gap is, down to two points. That is such a weapon, that smash out wide for Ijak. Time serve. after time again. It reminds me a little bit of Shabba Banyak, actually. Well, she had a First very service. good run to the final with convincing victories, Ow. whereas uh, maybe with a tougher route to the final, Second Karen Greco service. had a couple of very close calls along the route, but they both made it to their seeded positions in the final. Greco trying to oust the number one seed here, still set point, remember, two more chances. Greco going for the header across, but Ishak's got the angle covered, has to put it back from distance with the foot, which was difficult from there, she did well. A little stab with the bottom of the foot, doesn't cut Ishak aware, and Ishak stays in the rally. Great skills from Carolyn Greco, though. Now Ishak with that left foot, but oh, slices it off the end of the good. table, and the first set goes to Carolyn Greco of the United States. A bit of a delayed response from the crowd there, I'm not sure they realised the set was over. But Greco takes it, takes the set, the distance. Ishak never went away, did she? But Greco was always just marginally on top, apart from that little spell in the middle when it was six points all. But 12 to 9, she takes the first set. And I'm sure Carolyn Greco will walk away very happy from what was a really, really good set of tech ball from both players. A really entertaining set of tech balls, some fantastic rallies, as you're seeing on the replays here. That was the set point in the end. It was a little bit long, the slice there from Ijak. You can see hitting the ball with the base of her foot, trying to get as much spin on it as she could. And uh, nothing but respect between these two players as they shake hands. And only 10 seconds until we get underway with the second set. Podgorica name literally means under the hill. You're getting a few sights there and you're getting a few stats as well. The famous fridge and uh, the stats from the first set showing that 10 unforced errors from Anna Ishak certainly cost her the chance to victory the first set. But it's not over, it's best of three, so we go again.
population of this city around 150,000 in the city itself, 180 to 190,000, including the wider area. Wide to and a growing city, the capital of Montenegro, Podgorica. So his second set at the Verdi Complex, and it's the Hungarian number one seed to serve first, having lost the first set. 12 Ow. points to nine. Second Shanta, serve. USA going up again from the supporters. Greco tries to line it up and gets a good smash in, but Ijak equal to it, gets her own in. Oh, and that's a one. super smash for an acute angle and such height. Greco didn't have a chance. Where our commentary position is uh, situated is right down the barrel of the gun from that Ijak smash. So look forward to seeing a very good view of those smashes for the rest of this set. We nearly had to First take evasive minute. action. And protect our monitor as well. Net. Hear that cannon off the net there, just gives you an idea of the power. Get some real speed behind those first serves. Greco will be relieved second to see service. a second serve is coming her way. And if you're new to the sport, wait till Chabanyuk and crew start with their serves a little bit later. Such power. These two with a really exciting women's singles Edward. match. Has that touched the edge? Yeah, yeah. skimmed. A little slice that we are familiar with her. Sometimes it looks like she doesn't mean it, but she does. Such an astute First player. Service. Beat Romanian, King of Barabashi. Five and seven in her semi-final, while well, Caroline Greco is having a real tussle with Amélie Julien of France and won 12-11, 12-10. Also beat another Hungarian in the quarters, the American, Sofia Dejeni, one of the improving players, six and four. No sex dropped this week by Greco, despite close calls. And going again here, trying to build on her one set lead. But Ishak sets that angle up again. And oh, that's a side, not an edge. So it will be a point to the American in blue. So that's an opportunity to waste there for Ishak. She's in a good position. She looks to try and assert some authority in the uh, early stages of the second set. Greco with the head back across. Ishak. Setting herself up and smashes well. Oh, good first touch. She's still in this rally. She might even be on top here. She's just over halfway though. Point to one. Greco might challenge that. Double head. Oh, double head. Double head. Saying. Right. Yeah, she thought she wasn't over halfway. I didn't hear the referee's call. It's quite a loud first atmosphere third. here. You can only play it back with a different part of the body on the final touch of your three. Out. Long, very long. So important for Isiak to finish this serving second routine service. in positive figures. 2 1 at the moment. It's the second serve. Greco with a chance now to attack this. Header back is pretty standard down the middle of the table. Allows the attacking position. Super first header keeps her alive. She can do it again with oh, No, unlucky. not going to quite make it. Quite it's a ridiculous line. angle. The distance there. It's, it's the difficult service. to carry that momentum through Clearing the chest the from that angle there to keep that power and to direct it as well. It's Almost to get out of jail, free shot that, and it wasn't quite strong enough as you'll see on the replay here to chest it back onto play. Greco 3 1 down serving. Yeah, if you push that third. far back and you've used your head on the previous return, causes problems. That spinning serve just oh. misses the table. You can well. see the orange line on the floor second that they have serve. to be behind when they serve. No problem with the second serve because they retreat for the defensive high looping ball to the back of the court. Ishak keeps it in play easily and it's a low one and Point. Greco Clearing can't wide. keep it up. She admits that the ball touched the floor. Yeah, prides herself on being a very honest player. Great it's quality have. Well, good start here. 3-1 holding serve and now extending that to 4-1 Ishak. First yeah, no, no doubt about this match has the potential to go the distance. Yeah, it could be heading to, go to by. a third set, but anything can happen, and we can see runs of points very easily accumulated by either player. Attacking header puts Ishak under pressure. She makes it. And clever from Greco. She knew that her opponent couldn't use the smash, and so stayed close to the table, ready for the next attack. Now an attacking header from Ishak, but Greco's got it covered, oh, but then nice. just lost Clear control, wide. and it came back off the net. Brilliant from Ishak. Superb defence. Greco is having to commit herself to the right-hand side there, which is leaving a big gap open on the left. Ishak's exploiting that a little bit in this First second third. set. Player from the Pushkas Academy has opened up a 5-1 lead here from the founder, co-founder of Belotek. Great and serve. wins the point with the serve. A little sporting acknowledgement from Anna Ishak as well at the quality. 5-2. 
needs this one to First keep point. in touch, otherwise Ishak could run away with it. Another great serve. What a good serve, but Ishak did well. The header allows her to use her foot next time she gets the chance to smash. Greco goes with the attacking header, setting herself up for a smash and try to fool her opponent. Oh, oh Greco's magnificent. Oh, Reactions there, a little dinko with an head, and Ishak almost with her legs still in the air, just didn't have time to keep the rally alive. Unlike with doubles and singles, you can just return the ball on the first hit. Obviously, in doubles, both players have Blaine to make contact third. with the ball, but you can be clever there, as Greco was. A little poke back over the net. Ijak caught napping, and first she's service. given herself a lifeline in the second set in the early stages. Ijak to serve. 5-3, two points for Greco. Looking to build on that and take advantage of the Hungarian serve, but Ijak has a chance for that famous smash. Gets such height, that's going out of the arena, and ah. that is a point to point Ijak. Three ahead at 6-3. Confident play that from Ijak. Slams the door shut when Greco thought there was perhaps a little opportunity opening for her. We saw that claw her way back in. She was leading in the first set for a short while, 7 6, and things went away from her when he got to the business end of the set. Greco will be hoping for a repeat. Ishak hoping to learn from his mistakes, all the experience, and a lovely cross table smash. Unbelievable. Oh no, you're kidding me! Oh it's outrageous! God. What a continuation of the rally, still under pressure. Wow. The point goes to Ishak. She did really well to keep her concentration and finish the job. But that's one of the most skillful pieces of tech you will see in your life. Watch again and save her. It's just the intelligence of Greco to know she's got to get the ball as high up in the air because she's crossed the line. Somehow she does it and still Ishak has to keep her cool and convert the point. But that was the point of the match so far. Oh. And started play when they shouldn't have done then. We were still watching the replays. Ow. This one won't count, Point it's off the net. And Greco claws one back, and it's at the moment that she needs to because trailing by four points in this second set, she has little wriggle room. Well, Ijak opened up that gap early on in the set, don't forget. Since then, Greco has pretty much matched her point for point. Big moment coming up here, you feel. Good serve, but Greco's in position, play a little harvest ahead, got the benefit of the net oh, and will win wow. the point eventually. Well, Nothing that Ishak could do to get real control there. Well, you, they do say they even themselves out, don't they? And that is now one net call for each player. The crowd just seems to be getting louder and louder. So Greco is finding a way back into this second set. Service over, 7-5, once those first serves. Will she risk another attacking serve? I think she's going to, let's have a look. Goes for an attacking style header, little easy to control, does well. Ijak sets herself up. Greco just so nonchalant, she just knew she was going to be able to get that back, and she oh. did. Oh, well, she'll settle for that. An edge ball means replay the point in the position she was in. That's the result. Well, you'll notice from Ijak always tries to work herself into that favoured right hand side of the table, setting herself up for the smash. Greco's on to that, but it's not always easy to defend. Cer certainly not. Frankie Diaz in her corner, her coach and mixed doubles partner, has been frantically signaling to use her head more, I think. Is that, oh, lovely oh, skin brilliant. of the table with the outside of the boot. And is that the point that swings the second set in her favour? Well, Is Yak tried to do that at set point in the first set. Just that outside first of the foot, it. adding the spin, catching the back left hand side of the table. Nothing you can do about that when it pulls uh -huh. off. Missing a first serve here that was so reliable in the first set and got her a Second lot of points. Service. No aces, but got her in position to win the point on the next set of three. A big smash. Getting the head, then the chest, then the head. Gets it back in play. Great defence from Greco. Ijak, little harvester. Gives herself a chance here, but it's difficult. Oh, back to the table. Had away. to play it from behind her and couldn't get it in play. It's 9-5 here, three points away from sending us into a decisive set. Ijak's going to win this second set, you feel. The way she's playing, momentum she's making oh. Greco make uncharacteristic mistakes. And momentum is very much with the Hungarian second in the second service. set. Former pro footballer in Switzerland with Lugano. Caroline Greco, and still says she's open to offers. Ijak with the outside Fine. of the boot again, and that means it's even more certain that we will be heading to a decisive set surely. 10 5, two points required. Yeah, a little bit of an acknowledgement there between Frankie and Carol, knowing First the set's service. probably gone. Just enjoy yourself now, see what happens. Have maybe that deciding set in mind. So you have a 
timeout if needed, but pointless using him in this set. I'll save it to the third. Greco, is that edge or is it side? Oh, I thought that was edge. Edge, side wall. Oh, Ooh, points that's worth. Against I mean, I would say it's worth a challenge, but at the same time, she probably wants to keep her challenge. Definitely seems to make a little Could bit of contact. Well, Sets up set point. Right Numerous third. set points now then. Here's Jack. Set Lost the first set, 12 right. 9, but now first standing third. on the verge of winning this one. The world number one, 2021 world champion, Point. wins it straight Clean away right. at the first time of asking. In the end, it looked decisive, but I think Greco had lost a little bit of intensity towards the end of that set. So, congratulations to Anna Jack, who takes it to a deciding set here. And Carolyn Greco will have to sit down with her coach, Frankie, and work out what went wrong in that second set. Jack looks more up for it from the early stage, I wouldn't say more up for it, but she, she seemed the uh, more dominant of the two players. Seeing replays there and the outside of the boot was so important there for Izjak in generating spin. And well, she made so many errors in that first set, Anna Izjak. We said that she needed to improve. And if we have a look at the statistics for the second set, I think we will see that it was a much improved performance from the world's number one top seed. Here you go. No double faults. Winners 5 1 to Ishak and only three unforced errors and more from Carolyn Greco. And that's the reason, as the timeout ends here, that we're re heading towards a decisive third set in the women's singles finals in Podgorica. Just want to say as well about the number of nations competing, James, and uh, give a shout out particularly to the Danes who had pretty good runs, not involved in the finals, but Nana Lynn Christensen pushed Anna Ishak all the way in their quarter final, losing only 12-9, 12-11. That was a, a good effort, and they're improving rapidly along with uh, Brian Thompson in the men's uh, event, and we may be seeing them in finals day before too long. Well, what, what obviously Tech Ball is, the ball is there. achieving at the moment is showing finals, the sometimes bronze matches as well, but what you're not seeing on our live broadcasts, with commentary especially, is some of the uh, exciting group of knockout stages. That is something we're going to look at in the future, possibly broadcasting semi-finals day. But yeah, there were some really exciting semi-finals and bronze matches yesterday Maybe across like both singles and doubles and mixed yeah, yeah. doubles. So if you are tuning in for the first time, make sure you do check out the Tetpool social media page, first which does stream the vast majority of matches leading up to the finals as well. So lots for you to get stuck into if you're a fan Ow. of this yep. ever-growing sport. Always the main table on show Second on Tech TV on YouTube. And this is the big event, the finals. Look at the aggression now from Greco straight away. The American at it from the off. A little short header called a harvester by Izak. Izak on the back foot controls it. Difficult one from there, but uses the knee effectively. Was leaning forward, willing it over. Greco goes for the little header. Point. The short Thank harvester you. takes the point again with the opponent stood back from the table. A chance to lay it short and win the point. First point, final set, goes to Carolyn Greco of the USA. First service. Both these two face Bulgarian opposition in the round of 16 as well and came through comfortably enough. Greco seeded two, Jacques seeded one. But it's the American that's the current world champion. Here she is having to pick up the ball from a short position. Left-footed smash again from Isha. Sends Greco scuttling away. Such a difficult oh. one with the foot from there. So much line. easier from distance to use the head if you can. Third service. Pogoritsa, third set, women's singles final. 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. You cannot separate these two by even so much as a point. Chest miss. Oh. She's disappointed with that. Line. Chester's usually a defensive move. Greco just needs to compose herself a little bit here. She's First making a few 30. mistakes and punishing herself. She's still playing very well and very much slim with a chance of winning gold here. This is the last event that you can earn ranking points that will help you qualify for the European Games where Techball is making its debut as a medal sport. Ed Carolyn Ed Greco Ed won't Ed need it as an American. No American team in the Euro Games for obvious reasons. But for many of the others this week, a vital chance to book their place in Krakow. And what a venue we will have in June. You will see that on your Third screens service. around the world for sure. The iconic old square in Krakow, one of the most beautiful cities of Europe. A little bit 
further south in Central Europe. We're in Podgorica, Montenegro, and Izak with a spinning oh, slice. Man. She does that man. so well. Absolutely just funny. kills the ball dead, doesn't it? It's like a drop shot in tennis, isn't it? Yeah, it's called a harvester that way. You shorten the ball in the middle of the table, just in front of the net, and that was brilliant by Jack, who has started off this second set, how she started off the so this the third set, I start off the second, and this is on me the signs if you're a fan of Carolyn Greco or the USA. Three points in a row for Anna. This time smashed early into the table, and a quick return from the American. Ishak knew that well, she wanted a third touch, but she repeated use of the foot, and is penalised for that. Wanted that third touch to try and uh, keep her in the rally, but what a big point that is, 3-2 or 4-1 at this stage. It's a big difference. Greco serves 2-3, that spinning serve, it slides away and Ishak can't get there. Celebrated by a coach, Frankie in the corner, we're tied at 3-all. Big, big response from Carolyn Greco as she claws her way back into this decisive set. Public really good set. stuff, great response. The city surrounded by mountains that give their name to the name of the country. Another spinning serve, difficult to deal with, but Ishak's got it under control this time. A little dink herself, Harvester like, not quite as effective. This time she'll have to go with a different part of the body, so does a Harvester with a head this time. Greco trying to set something up more aggressively. This time it'll be with a foot, but again, not able to get the smashing. Greco denying her the opportunity, forcing Ishak back. Hasn't got a left foot to rely on from there, that's a super return though. Going in for the kill, and Ishak struggling here, gets it back. Oh, oh, so close. Wow. Another well, great rally. Greco didn't really push too hard, just kept the aggression on and eventually found the breaking point. 4-3 to Carolyn Greco. Reminiscent of that rally in the previous set where Greco brought the ball back from the opposite side of the arena. And Jack very much nearly repeating that. Third service. Carolyn Greco serving at 4-3. One more serve to come in this set of four. Well, it did make slight contact. Oh, yeah, the ball boys are quickly on it, bounce right in front of us here. In the Verde complex in Podgorica, just west of the city centre, big complex here New with the semi-Olympic sized swimming pool as well. They play all sorts of sports here. No. Handball, basketball, volleyball and indoor football futsal events. Second uh, service. All being held here in major events as well. Greco, defensive, looping knee from the back of the court. Ishak moving forward with momentum and smashes well. Clearing wide. And that was effective. Of service. Good timing. Clearing wide to serve. And as you heard the referee say, change of serve, 4-4. Four, four. Well, this is gripping. Your guess is as good as mine, Tim, as to who goes on and wins it from here. Yeah, it's yeah. about momentum, isn't it? They keep swapping and changing. Yeah. We saw that Ishak continued the momentum from the first set to open up a 3-1 lead, but Greco came back to lead, and she's looking for the first point of this set of four with attacking shot. Oh, that's good. Ishak was expecting it a little further over to the right and couldn't control it with her left foot. Into the body of Ishak, or into the leg, should I say. We'll see here in the replay. Just cannons off of her left foot. Too much power, that, from Greco, and... Changed really her nice angle slightly play. as well. It's a great serve. Well recovered. And goes oh. to smash, but I think it's a side ball. And again, Greco, very honest, indicates to the referee to make their jobs easier. It was a side ball. Love to see this honesty. Look, you'll see her on the replay. Straight away, she says, side ball. Five all. Women's singles final. First of the five finals we have for you today. Men's singles. And. Uh, doubles events in both categories and the mixed doubles Ow. as well and they could be fun second service and you don't get much better quality than that in the women's event five all in the final in the final set is that an edge so we stay at five five and try again well we have men's singles final following this women's singles final <laughs> if this stand is anything to go by we are in for a very exciting afternoon of tech ball here yeah. Yeah. Risker, 20 to 3 Local time. Could be a long afternoon stretching well into the evening as well. We could overrun time with a little shorter time in uh, 
in Madrid oh, with brilliant. finals that were short, but this one's going the distance. And again, and Ishak shows that canny play with the outside of the boot to get the added spin. And as soon as the player reaches six in the final set, they change ends. Ishak's so clever at disguising that harvester. It looks like it's going to be a First smash. Baby. She just shortens the ball perfect with perfection. Just mentions the referees uh, a little bit of dirt, isn't it? dirt, moisture, condensation, something on the ball. Ball will be wiped. The orange cloth is ready. Struggled to find one in Madrid the first time they asked for it cleaning. Now let's just have a look at some of the skills then we've already seen in this final. Beautiful little slice with the boot from Anna Ishak that puts her ahead 6 5 now. One more serve in her. Four to come. And it would be fitting, no, not wishing to cheer for one player or the other, but if it's 6-6, six, six, it really would be fitting of how close this match has been. Greco trying to make it so, and Ishak's there, lined it up well. Now in a bit of trouble, gets a smash away. That, was it over halfway? Me, looked after over halfway. I would challenge that. That was well, a strange Well, she still decision. can after the point, maybe. I she has one challenge oh, left, but maybe... Yeah, yeah she's yeah, got she to challenge is going that. To Frankie in the corner. Over on the far side of your well, picture, it, it distracted, told her to challenge. It distracted yeah, her as right. well. I mean, so we will refer to the video assistant referee, and I think I for certain she crossed the line. Wasn't that one? It was a bit oh, earlier yeah. on, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, it was early in the rally. It looked clearly over the line from from where we were sat. We, we challenge call, but it says on the big screen here. But we haven't seen, as you haven't. Now we're going to see. Oh, I'll tell you what, oh, that's a lot closer than I realised. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's just Good over. I think me. the heel is... Oh, I think the heel's just touching Ooh. the it's line. It's not as clear-cut no, as it not. seemed. Look at that. That's oh, my over. goodness me. That is what VAR is for. Well, you can zoom it by 250% and it's, it's imperceptible at 100%, isn't it, at, at normal? Yeah, but I mean, I think the when you play it up, Here we go. This is it is an eagle attack by a wow. fraction. Anna Ishak with a nod. Carolyn Greco with well, a nod as well. I think that could boost Carolyn Greco as well because obviously she lost that point. And she retains the challenge as well as retaining the point. I thought that was a lot clearer cut than it seemed. We are sat a little bit of an off angle here. Yeah, it's difficult to see. So it is 6 6 then. Instead of being 7 5 down. First service. Final set. Even Stevens, six all. Carolyn Greco, a little bit of spin, not quite as much as some of them. But, ah, and the error from Ishan, the sort of error that was haunting her in the first set, that caused her to lose it 12 9. Apple, George and Adam Blazovic are still on the sidelines, warming themselves up, soaking up this atmosphere. Men's singles final coming up next, but we have to conclude. This oh, great serve. singles final. Boys, Brilliant power and spin, taking it away from Ishak. And she's opened up a two-point lead for the first time in this final. Yeah, I mean, again, looking back on that point, which was challenged, how significant for that game for match. I'd love to have heard her thoughts on that, actually. Nah. It's probably the worst serve Second she's done service. today. All sorts of added variables now, pressure, not least of them. Ishak takes the headed serve and beautiful play. Greco somehow keeps it alive. Great play. Three touches used to perfection. Ishak still uh, making the running in the rally. Couldn't use the foot again, realised just in time. Thinks she was the right side of the halfway line there. Greco, here's the American again. Can use the chest. That makes it a little easier. Well done. Super rally. Tech ball at its finest. And the winner from the Hungarian. Point. Greco wondering if it was over halfway. Frankie in the corner is telling her as you watch the replay. He couldn't see. My Probably opinion was best. that one wasn't, no, to be honest. Think so. I think she's challenged, and at this point of the match, you might as well. well it takes a little bit of the sting pair. out of the win of the point from Izyak. We'll see now the challenge. I think this one, at this point of the match, could just be buying her a little bit of time. We will see, though. Interested to see. Yeah, I, I didn't think no, it was near. it's not. It's nowhere near. And I guess she'll be thinking, well, could all be over in four points. I, I don't think that there'll be another need, another close call between now and then. Brilliant point, can I just say. It takes nothing away from oh, what was a super point from both players. No illegal attack. Point. Ishak still 
maintains her Go. challenge, by the way. No more challenge for player in blue. As you see and as you hear, Greco loses her one challenge, but still First ahead service. in the final. Eight points to seven now after that point is confirmed for the world number one, Isha. Ow. And just distracted a little, maybe. Tension getting Second to Carol service. Greco. Double oh, course. the first Point double fall to the final, and what a time Change for it to service. happen. Leading wide to third. Eight all. Oh, Greco needs to third collect service. herself. Ishak really wants to get on with this now. She senses blood, having got back from 8 6. Mistake from her opponent, oh. but after the nerves. Two sets and 16 points in the deciding set. Second Not service. a point separates these two. What a titanic battle. This is a battle which will long be remembered. Really, really good match. Montenegro, debut port of call on the Tech Ball Tour, the European Tour, Greco, oh no, surely not, she's in danger ah, there of hurting herself. Yeah, the Greco momentum. got herself in a really challenging position there, the second touch let her down a little bit there, and Izak now storms back with the momentum and is now just three points First away from the win. These two really are titans of the women's singles game. If it gets to 11 all, we have to have two points separating the net. two players. That clang off the top of the net. I swear it's louder than normal. So a second, second service. serve. Hopefully she won't double fault. Pressure is extraordinary now at this stage of a final. Just stayed the right side of the line there, Greco. Ishak with the header mix between a harvester and a sniper. That's a definite sniper with real power. Off the knee, but it won't go over the net. Big cheers from her supporters, not least her coach, as she levels it up 9-9. This reminds me a little bit of the 2018 Men's Doubles World Championship final, which went right, right down to the wire. That was actually won by Montenegro. Serbians were under the guise of Montenegro back then. Second service. Bogdanovic and Nikola Mitro. We'll see them later today. Greco with the chest to get it back over and uh, struggling to make the halfway line there. I think she might have got away with it and Greco lost control and tried to stab it over. She has no challenge left, remember, even if she wanted to challenge. But I think Ishak got away with it and I takes think, the lead. I think she was just about okay there. We might see the replay. Ooh, yeah, just I think we've got maybe. a slight side on angle there as well. It's not quite directly down the middle. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a challenge there, to be honest. You can see points just being switched oh. between the two players. 10-9 the score on the Jack serve. Yeah, Second she used service. that challenge when her coach, Frankie, said, I don't know, it's up to you, and she chose to use it. Anyway, it's uh, history oh. now, oh. and her chances of winning this title might be history as well, as match points will go Final. to Anna Izak, the number one seed. The Americans call a timeout. A chance for Frankie Diaz to instill some words of confidence and belief in the current world champ. Well, Carolyn Greco absolutely lives and breathes this sport, and I know how disappointed she will be not to win this if it does go the way of Izak, and it's looking very good for Izak at the moment. And there she is, just taking on fluids, knowing she's very, very close to closing out this match and amending somewhat that defeat in the women's singles at the World Championships, which of course Greco won in straight sets. Interesting that Frank is giving us some tips on positioning and movement in preparation for the Hungarian and her attacks. Well, the timeout has 15 seconds left already. We've gone well over 45 minutes in this final. It's one of the longest matches ever in a final of the women's singles of all the tours we've seen. And credit to Carolyn Greco and frankly for just even coming across here from the United the States, final. we are based in California and uh, managing Change to of take part in the European Tour event again. Playing blue to serve. The only US representatives and Greco the only one in a final. First service. Shouts of USA going up in Montenegro again in blue from those United States. Oh. Carolyn Greco missing that first serve now. Real chance this for Izak on the second serve. Second service. Just match. needs to put some pressure on. Two match points, remember. Izak setting herself up nicely here. Just on the wrong foot, though, and uh, Greco did well to force it away. Early return from Izak with the headed sniper. 
excellent effort, but well controlled. From distance, difficult for Ishak. She does well. Greco setting herself up for the smash. Good control on the right foot. Oh, now she's lost a bit of control and ah, can't find the table. One Ooh. match point repelled. 11 10 in the decider. Wow, this could not be closer, could it? What a final. Well played, both players. Here we go, then. It all comes down to this to Greco serve. Bella Tech Club represented with Greco, oh, who served, really? gets it a winner. And we're at final set deadlock, 11 all, two points, the margin for victory now. Well, you could not ask for more watching back at Bang home. Timeout called by. by Hungary this time. And again, it's mind games, you feel. Both players have much, obviously have the timeouts. No challenges remaining for Greco, one remaining for Izyak. A minute of timeout, 11 all in the deciding set. Anna Izyak versus Karolin Greco, the gold and silver medalists from the World Championships, the number one in the world versus the number two in the world, and they cannot be separated after two sets, 11 all in the decider. 49 female athletes here this week in Montenegro, 149 in total from 34 nations. The creme de la creme, all battling for ranking points for their own rankings and for a chance to qualify for the first ever medals for a tech ball competition in the European Games in Krakow, 21st of June to the 2nd of July. There are further events taking place, African Beach Games I think about the same time, we've got events continuing in the US tech ball tour as well, but in Europe the next stop will be the big one, the European Games. So Anna Izak has just called a timeout, the 2021 world champion and champion of the last European Tour event in Madrid just a couple of weeks ago. She had two match points at 11-9. Playing with the third. Couldn't convert either. Two big serves from Greco, especially the second third one. Service. And now she got the confidence and the momentum to finish the job. Two serves and remaining. Doesn't find the table. Well, she had a second serve, 11-9 down. Second Still service. managed to win that point. Takes nerves, a bit more of an attacking header. Going for the kill here, and wins point. the point. But remember, you need to win by two. So Ishak has a third match point Three here, sides. leading 12-11. And the change of ends as well. There is so many stoppages. The players really have to stay focused here. We are now officially at 50 minutes, the longest ever Perfect. women's match in the finals day. Greco, new territory, Man. uncharted territory. Who's going to get the winner's check for $1,200? Second service. Out of the $30,000 prize pool for the athletes today. Second service, good. Ishak, going for the winner now. With a little outside of the boot. Greco's equal to it. Has a header that puts the pressure on Ishak. Sets itself up for a return header. Now the big smash coming, maybe. Didn't risk too much on it. Ishak's still there. Gets the angle, it bounces awkwardly. Wasn't an edge ball, though. Bit of spin there. Ishak, this time from an acute angle. Great effort. Surely not. Oh, it's uh, Ishak's tight uh, ball. 13-11 in the decider. What a match. Take a bow, both athletes. But your champion from Hungary, the world number one in top seed, Anna Ishak. Well, I mean... So, so little to separate those two in an all-time classic in the women's singles final. 12-9, 12-5, 13-11, is Yak with the absolute. Well, Mr. Fitcher is in the end as Greco goes up to thank what has been an absolutely astounding performance from the crowd, by the way, who have not stopped with their vocal support. The future of Tech Ball looks safe in Montenegro, let's just say, with the younger generation really, really enjoying themselves. And that was over 50 minutes, around 54 minutes that final. And the crowd are, you wouldn't have thought Greco lost that. The crowd are absolutely loving that. Well, who do they support in the next match? It is Adam Blazovic. Taking on Apple Georgiak is once again the best in the world versus the second best in the world. It's a final to be remembered. There's your match statistics, Tim. Yeah, the famous sights, the bridges, particularly of Montenegro, and there are the overall statistics for the first of our five finals today. Ishak with four mistakes, 
but more winners, 13 to four. That was decisive in the end. Some fabulous smashes and beautiful spin with the outside of the boot. Top class tech ball in Montenegro in Podgorica. Laszlo Vida, new in position, the new Secretary General, congratulations to him, former athlete himself, Olympian, and uh, presenting the silver medal to a smiling Caroline Greco. She's such a nice person, and the American has to settle for silver after the long trip for California, but played her part in an historic match, and one not to be forgotten by everyone here, including the youngsters who turned out in force. Well, a fantastic performance coming from a set down and there were times when she looked defeated and in that toing and froing in the final set she was trailing there as well but Greco couldn't force home the advantage despite being 8-6 up in the decider the longest ever women's final there has to be a winner and a loser and your winner of the women's singles is Anna Izak of Hungary so phenomenal athletes real ambassadors for this sport and it's a shame that one of them had to lose in the end but Carolyn Greco no matter what is a winner she's a world champion she's stolen the hearts of the fans here in Montenegro but many congratulations to Izak who is a deserved champion and takes the title here in Podgorica